Hello everyone, it's Laura over here at Hyper Stamper. Today's antique junk journal is using this really good size, six and a quarter inch by nine and a half inch, a 1937 book, so it's almost an antique. Uh, it's an antique at 100 years, and I filled it with so much ephemera that is sisters themed. So tons of pages and inserts and real special little treasures. This plate here came from this wonderful book from 1887 called Chatterbox. And I've used a lot of the prints in here before, but this one here was just perfect for sisters. It's these two sisters out in the woods painting these deer that they see in the forest. And I just think it's lovely. We've got this antique tatted lace on the top and the bottom. And I've just put some ribbon and trim down the sides. And now let me take you on a little tour of this 100% uh, authentic ephemera journal and before I put it in my Etsy store hyperstamper.etsy.com let's have a little look so there's the original inside page there 1937 and this is from a 1933 girls own book uh, and this, these two sisters it looks like they're twins almost skating I love it and so you can journal on the back of that one. And then this beautiful page here from 1915. And it's got the two, I like to think that they're sisters up here and then the patterns of their fashions. And then look at this beautiful photograph. And this is probably from about the 19, mid 1920s. These two sisters here in the photography studio. It's, it's really wonderful. And that's an original, of course. And then this little antique book page here, the two little sisters looking in the aquarium. And then here's a bunch of little girls here. I like to think they're sisters as well, uh, playing. And then Patty's Penny's story up here. Now in this pocket here, I made a sweetheart pocket. And then um, I've got the two little sisters here and on the back, isn't that adorable? I love it. I'm just gonna tuck that there. And then this here is from 1923 and this is a uh, CM Bird plate and this is original. It is, so it's 101 years old and it's the, um, it's from the Nap Company, but it's uh, Hushabye Baby and the sister there holding her little baby sister. And uh, the baby is crying. I'm sure my older sisters remember those horrible days. And then here is a wonderful little vintage children's book page with the sisters up there. And I put uh, antique paper on the front and back there. And in this pocket, I've got another wonderful, we've got four sisters here. Uh, watching the kettle on the stove. So I think that's adorable. Little girl going up the stairs here with her grandma. 104 year old page here. This is just a beautiful countryside plate that I like to put in all my journals for a pop of color and history. And that's from 1904. This is the end page, the end of the Returns from Limberlost, a long since sold journal. And let's see more sisters. Look at this one. This is from 1905. And it's got these two girls leaving the school here. And you can journal on the back. Just a gorgeous illustration there. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know who the artist is there. Put that in the little pocket up with that vintage doily. I love using my vintage doilies. Another wonderful children's book page here from the 40s, a 1950s ledger page, 1950s um, doily making page. A little vintage stamp here. And here is another sweet, sweet, let me just pull the paper clip off because I've wrapped it around both sides. And we've got these two little girls here reading a giant book and you can journal on the back of that beautiful boxing here. And some little child did a little drawing with some crayon there. <laughs> it's so sweet. Let's put that aside for a sec. I put in a pressed flower here because I just love my pressed flowers and that little topper there. Thoughts, by the way, it's from 1915, vintage dictionary page and this came from a 1950s doll book and we've got the two sister dolls here i just think that's wonderful and they're called look-alike dolls so same face different hair and this is from an, a very very old postcard album that i took the pages out of and i slipped that into one side and i slipped this beautiful piece into the other look at that beautiful plate there from a children's book from the 1920s got the lighthouse and the ship and the two little girls there that's sweet for sisters i love it there we go and then two sisters down here running from with their mom and then look at this beautiful one i love it 
Oh, the two sisters hugging each other on a bench. And this is from the 1800s. It's absolutely exquisite. I love it. This is from the early 1900s, this page. And then I put this Flinch card here from my Flinch card collection, 100 years old. And this one here is uh, the number two for two sisters. And if somebody who buys the journal wants me to change it to three or four or one or anything, I can, I can certainly do that up to the number 12. This is a, a vintage needlepoint here. And in here's another sister page from a 1920s children's book antique paper on the back again for journaling i try to give you as much journaling space as possible this came from a vintage art book and this is just a, a madame El, albert marquet's collection in paris and then this is the 1937 five-year diary page from october again if you want me to change the date if i have it you can have it too that is the inside spine of an antique book and look at this from 1906 these two sisters here, look at these outfits. Beautiful, girls attire for March. Wow. This is the dust cover of a, off of an antique book here. And so I turned it into a pocket and this is a vintage postcard. I, just, I, I know it's weird. It's a hat display and, and these collars, but look like two sisters. So I thought that was actually just a little funny piece for you there. And then we've got the two little sisters, three sisters, sorry, here, like me and my two sisters. And then this here is from a newspaper from 1939. We've got the two sisters here on the society page. <laughs> cool. And then we've got a vintage map here. We've got Antarctica. You don't see that very often. This is a vintage piece of uh, fabric here with the gold threading in it. I love it. And then Ethel Robert, Robert Sun. Uh, look at this super, super old book from the 1800s, this page here, all the foxing on it. And you can just journal there, a little hidden journaling stuff. And this really sweet wraparound pocket here is all these little girls and their costumes over the different periods. So I thought that could be little sisters as well. And this here also from 1906, so look at this, June 9th, 1906. Isn't that stunning? It says, two pleasant looking girls warmly greeting their sister. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my God, what a great treasure. So if you have a sister that you want to give a gift to for Christmas, or you are a sister, or you know a sister, this would be a really fun gift, or just for yourself. Here's a really cool piece from 1911 here, and this was a check for $25. Good Lord, that probably bought you a car back then. And then here we go, is two little sisters here looking at the birds. Oopsie, Lacey just uh, stepped on my computer. There we go. <laughs> antique paper on the back oh that's sweet little family going shopping and this little guy trying to talk his sister into going up the escalator very sweet hidden journaling spot there and there and then this is a wonderful little magazine article here dad with his three daughters on a boat it's not wonderful oh my gosh this is just so much fun this is another one from my uh my chatterbox book here from 1887 and it's the two sisters here, aren't they sweet? And she's brushing her sister's hair. And there's the mom, I think, looking down from the stairs and in the garden. It's lovely little uh, bits on the back here. Vintage bird book page, um, vintage recipe card, never got used. And here is a hundred year old banknote. Two more sisters down here. This is from an antique photograph album. And so you can do anything with that. 1930s uh, students work here oh hi Lacey fun little antique book page here with children's stories and then this is really cool three dances and that is the a piano solo um, folio music folio and then another fun little bit here and then I pulled this out of the back of an antique book what are you doing Lacey <laughs> And then this is from the 50s, the Lennon Sisters, The Secret of Holiday Island. I just thought that was fun. And then I put some antique paper there as well, more vintage birds, and then this, these three sisters here at the back. So I hope you love it as much as I loved making it. You can see this and many more of my um, journals, uh, hyperchamfer.etsy.com. Come back and don't forget to subscribe. Say bye, Lacey.